Hello, I am Test Drive, and welcome to episode 11 of Dirt. In this episode, we're finishing off tier 1 by doing the Bilstein Front Wheel Drive Trophy, which is a rally for front wheel drive cars in Germany. And we have three of our cars that I've used in the past to unlock to use, which is pretty neat. I think I'm going to avoid buying a new car because I think I need money quickly in the next tier for to buy cars. Uh, but we'll we'll figure it out. Anyways. Wait, I gotta make sure of something. Hold on. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, never mind. Uh, we're going to go ahead and buy the Suzuki because I don't think there's any more events for front wheel drive cars. Or the, the front wheel drive Super 1600 cars at least. If you look at the stats, they read a little bit weak for the Swift. But those talented guys at Suzuki have got extra speed, grip, and power out of this little beauty in places others can't find. It's on a level with the C2 for style and quality, and is definitely one of the best in his class. Must be yellow. So yeah, I was thinking that uh, we'd have to use money to buy cars early on in the next tier, but not necessarily. So, I'm not too worried about buying this. This stage starts fast, but be careful at the left turns because there's a long drop-off if you overshoot. The road goes through a downhill hairpin section, so watch your speed for each of these turns. The pace picks up through the town, but watch out for the curve. You'll need to get your line right for the tight left after the overpass. This will set you up for a cool sprint to the finish. A cool sprint. Alrighty. So, let's go ahead and race. Germany is probably the uh the rally like place place location i guess uh that i'm probably the worst at so this is gonna be interesting because it's it's slippery you can go off the road easily and i'm really bad at paying attention to the co-driver all a really good combination for uh these races It's also not incredibly easy versus the AI either. I think I'll still be able to win easily, but it's going to be a lot closer than the previous races. Also, you notice that there's wet or there's uh there's water on the roads that comes up whenever I uh well it's coming from the wheels. But, sadly, it never actually rains in this game. There's no actual weather effects. Or night racing, sadly. That stuff was all added for Dirt 2, I believe. Actually, I don't know if there was weather in Dirt 2. I know there's night racing. I can't remember what weather, though. Dirt 3 definitely has weather. I remember racing in, like, heavy snow in Dirt 3. But I definitely think that's a place that this game uh, falls a bit short in. They might have been able to not do it because of like technical, technical li limitations for the Xbox 360 or something or the PS3. Uh, but of course, like, you know, Rally Sports Challenge 2 had night racing and weather effects a few years before this game. And also, I think the Colin McRae Rally series had weather and nighttime racing. I can't really say for sure because I've played very, 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 very little of any comic great game before this game. Ouch, ouch. Those poles are deadly. Signs in this game are extremely deadly. If you run into a sign, you might... There's a good chance you'll total your car. I have to say, I'm really enjoying playing through this game again, though. Really glad I decided to pick this one up for a Let's Play uh, this time. Because I do love this game.
And it's definitely something nice and interesting to play other than Forza right now. Looking forward to getting my hands on that trophy. Get my hands on that trophy. So there we go, that is the end of tier one after I let the replay play so I can get a thumbnail. Ah, that'll work. Alright. There's that. Of course only one stage. I kinda wish they would have started putting in like two stages per event by this point, but like I said, I, I can't really be chooser. I'm a bigger can't be chooser for a game that came out 14 years ago. But there we go. If we were on Xbox, I would get an achievement right now. I would assume there'd probably be a trophy on PlayStation 3. So, there we go. We are 11% through the game. I don't think there's exactly 100 events in this game. Uh, but there we go. Next episode, we will be starting on Tier 2 and going on from there. So thank you all so much for watching this episode. And I shall see you in the next one. Five, three,